I'm Regan Stackler. I'm a 46-year-old kind of semi-retired chef, stay-at-home dad, taking care of my little girls while my wife's upstairs running a law firm. You know, I think like anyone watching the news, you see these hurricanes coming. Of course, I'm attached to it. I'm from Fort Myers Beach. And I'm getting messages from uh, my brother. You know, we're all just staying in touch, being family. The hurricane's very normal on the beach. You know, you, you hear it's like you go through probably three through the year that are like that you would like, okay, boarding up the house and we would stick it out. And that was just our lifestyle. The interesting thing about weather events and hurricanes, I think, for people who are from Florida is that they often do not grasp that it could be bad. You know, everyone keeps saying that it's going to go to Tampa. At most, you know, Sarasota. The Wednesday before, it looks like now it's, it's going to Fort Myers. And that's when I kind of started like, oh, holy crap, what's going on? I remember that night when it was coming through down there, and then you're not getting contact anymore from anyone. You know, all of a sudden, social media goes dead. And then the next morning, I think it was, and you put on the news, and you start to hear these stories and see it, and you're just like, oh my God. And that's just when I couldn't handle it. You start thinking about people you love. So I started thinking, like, what can I do? Um, I, I knew they didn't have power, though. I was like, okay, well, they don't have any power. What am I going to do? How am I going to make, make a difference? And I'm messaging with my brother, and I'm telling him, like, Matt, I'm coming. Like, I, I think I'm going to come down there. I'm going to do something. And he was like, well, what are you going to do? I go, I don't know. I'm just going to go down there. I'm going to cook for people somehow, some way. Of course, with Regan, I think the most obvious thing is always, well, you know, I care so deeply about people, and my love language is cooking for them. It's feeding them. And that's his wheelhouse. So I have some equipment that I'm pretty mobile with. So I was like, what does everyone love? And it hit me, I was like, pizza, of course. And I think he had a very different idea initially because he thought he could use a commercial kitchen and then decided, hey, well, my oven's trusty and amazing. I can bring it with me and turn out a bunch of pizza. And I text my brother, I'm like, Matt, I got it. I'm gonna, I'm gonna bring my pizza oven down there. He was like, how are you gonna do that? And I was like, well, I have this little oven. It's called an uni. It's super light. And he was like, well, how big is it? I'm like, Matt, it's, it's small, it's great. Like, I can literally put it behind my seat in my truck. Friday morning, I woke up and it was go time for me. I made like the world's biggest dough ball as far as I've ever made before, it was humongous. When it was done rising, it was actually pushing the cooler open. It was so huge, it was insane. I initially showed them all how to make it. I think I made three or four pizzas initially and everybody wouldn't help so much, but they were just like taking over. And they were just amazed at how cool the uni oven was. Like, the firefighter guys were obsessed with that oven. Like they just, they thought it was the raddest thing. The tailgate was where we would start the pizzas and we set it up like an assembly line and then we passed it on to the next person that who would do the toppings. And then we had the uni oven next to that and they would just come up and get the pizza. You bring it to them too. I remember this couple, they were under their house and they were like, no, no, we're good. And then I gave it to them and they were like, thank you, thank you. I'm like, please don't thank me. You know, I feel like I'm just doing my part because, you know, I love you guys, I'm good. Like, that's just the way it goes. A lot of people I know with Uni love their Neapolitan style. We prefer a crispier crust. <laughs> I mean, under our circumstances, they weren't my ideal pizza, but they were damn good. We've always tried to share with our daughters sort of different life experiences that, that we go through as adults. And so we've exposed them to a lot of this sort of work where, you know, you should feel sort of joy at having done something that helps other people, or that just feeds people. I'll have memories. There's some tough memories, but I'm gonna have some great ones too. Like, I love watching people happy with food. If that's how I can make you happy, that's what I do.